Hello! In this video tutorial, you will learn how to copy a section from one of your existing courses to create a new course in WebAssign. To start, click Create Course. Select Copy Assignments and Settings from an existing course and click the course or section you want to copy. Enter the course number for your new course. Enter the course title. Type the section name or number if needed. You don't have to give the section name if your course won't have any other sections. If needed, select a different instructor to teach the sections you are creating. If needed, you can add more instructors after creating your course. Select how you want to roster your course. Self-enrollment is the easiest option, but it might not be right for your class. To determine what method is best for you, search the Help for Enrollment Methods. For this class, we will plan to upload a roster file later. Select an academic term and year for your course. Set the start date to the first day your students can access the course. Notice that the end date fills in automatically when you set the start date. This is based on the length of your course that you are copying. Set the end date to the last day your students can view their scores and completed assignments. This term is actually a few days longer than the last term. If your new term is shorter than your old term, some assignments might end up scheduled for the last day of the term so that they are not scheduled after the end of the course. After creating your new course, you can reschedule any of your assignments if needed. Specify when the class meets. If the section you are copying specifies meet days and times, you must specify meet days and times for the new section. If the section you are copying does not specify meet days and times, you can either specify meet days and times for the new section or select no scheduled class meetings. Click the checkbox to certify that you are using the selected textbook in your class. You cannot change the textbook when you copy a course. If you want, click Additional Resources and select Additional Free Discipline Specific Questions or Personal Study Plans to use in your course. If your students are new to WebAssign, add Getting Started with WebAssign. You can use these questions to create an assignment that lets your students practice working in WebAssign. Select any other content you want to use and click Apply. Review or change the settings under Assignment and Section Options. Usually the default values work well and you don't need to change anything. Copy Restrictions copies any restrictions on scheduled assignments from the original course, things like password protection and conditional release, to the same assignments in your new course. By default, copying a course does not make new copies of each assignment scheduled to your original course. Select Create a new copy of each assignment if you want to give yourself or the instructor for your new section the option to edit assignments in the new course without changing the assignments used in the original course. Copy Additional Instructor Access copies the privileges for TAs and secondary instructors to your new course. Copy Gradebook Settings copies the original course's gradebook settings. After creating your new course, you can always change individual assignment restrictions, instructor access, or gradebook settings for the new course as needed. Finally, click Create Course. Your course is created. You can see that the assignments from your original course are already scheduled based on how they were scheduled in the course you copied. Each course is different, so some assignments might not be scheduled when you want them to be. It's always a good idea to check over the schedule for your new course before enrolling students or adding sections. You can click Schedule beside any assignment to open it in the Schedule page and reschedule or unschedule it as needed. To schedule other assignments to your course, click Class Schedule. To add other sections to your course, you can click Copy to New Sections. When you are ready to add students to your class, you can either upload a roster file or give your students the class key if you chose to use self-enrollment. Since we chose to upload a roster, a link to upload roster is shown. 
The roster upload page links to help topics that can guide you through preparing and uploading a roster file. Whichever rostering method you choose when creating your course, you can always upload a roster or turn on self-enrollment later if you want. Click Roster, and then click either Upload or Student Self-Enroll. You can also add individual students to your class. You have copied your course, and you have the information you need to enroll students into your class. You can find other video tutorials and much more information in the online help.